Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bethany Esports Podcast. I'm your host, Robert Barr, and today I have joining me... Uh, I'm Ethan Sullivan, and I'm on the varsity team for uh, Rocket League. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, Mm -hmm. Given that this is, for one, a week late, not due to anyone's fault, but scheduling was really hard to get everyone to try and get here together. And it's also not going to be a video podcast today because I couldn't get any of the camera equipment, which is more my fault than anyone else's. So we'll gloss over that one. So let's start with uh, just tell us a little bit about Rocket League on the esports side. Or let's scratch that. Let's go as the game in general because maybe not everyone knows Rocket League, which I don't know how many people actually don't know Rocket League. But let's talk about it in general first. All right. Um, well, Rocket League, it's basically like, it's car soccer, basically. You just have a car, and you can drive it. You hit the ball, you can go up the walls, hit the ball off the walls by jumping. You can, you have boost, which is necessary to, like, boost into the ball. And, uh, let's see. And then you just shoot it into a goal, basically. The ball goes into the goal, it explodes, you score, and it's basically just like a soccer game. So, yeah. And the Rocket of the Rocket League is your rocket cars. So. Yeah, exactly. Which just sounds like a fun concept in yeah. general. Um, yeah. So um, how many people are on the Rocket League team? Uh, there are three of us. Okay, so you're playing like triples, I'm assuming is what it would be called uh, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, so since they're not here, let's, uh, let's introduce them from your side. Who are the other, who are your teammates? Uh, one of them is Noah. Uh, Noah Fink, and then the other one is Tristan, but I don't know his last name. Oh, that's fine. Uh, do you know any of your, like, majors or what year you are in school? Just to give a general introduction of yourself, like, who are you guys? Let's get to know you guys. All right, well, I'm a freshman uh, here at Bethany, and my major is computer science. And about the other two, I'm not really so sure yet, but I'll get to know them as the Rocket League season goes on. And I think one of them is on the golf team as well. Yeah, I think I think Noah so. Noah is, yeah. Which is one of the scheduling conflicts for last week when I was trying to record. He had a uh, golf tournament meet. I don't know what the actual yeah, correct term was, for that was. Yeah, me neither. But. Uh, but that was one of the reasons why I couldn't get him on either. Yeah. So Rocket League is very different from a whole bunch of other games in the sense that there's no – esport games where there's no positions like in league of legends you have the 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 three lanes and then you have the jungler yeah in um overwatch you have three different positions of support damage and uh tank blanked on that one for a (laughs) second um but rocket league doesn't have those yeah it's more like i've played it before and it's more like free free for all in a way yeah i can see why people would say that but i feel like the main part too is like you just need to know like there's rotations with it too like knowing where to position like usually it's just like it's basically soccer you have like one person up one person goes for the ball one person like sits at midfield to wait for like a pass and the other one's just like back in the goal defending just in case it gets by the other two so yeah that's basically like the rotations of it and yeah so all three of you will play at some point or other every single spot on the pitch court. Uh, yeah, like whatever field, court, yeah. yeah, whatever you want to call it. It's 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 like indoor soccer with cars. Exactly. Yeah. There's not even like really much diversity. They're all just in. I don't think the cars are any different, are they? Or is there like different stats for each of the cars? I feel like for some of the cars, like let's say like an octane is a bit like what is it like shorter than like let's say a dominus or something which a dominus is just like kind of a flat car kind of like a pancake and so like yeah but besides that there's i don't really know like all the stats about them but i know like there's certain cars that have are taller certain cars that are lower and yeah but just yeah you kind of i picked one i picked like the octane because it's not like too low to the ground but it's not like too high up either i feel like it just suits me i guess how i play and yeah it's just finding whatever's balanced for yourself yeah exactly and um, Rocket League is in an interesting boat where you you play on the computer, but you play with gamepad. Yeah. So what's the main reason for playing with gamepad as opposed to keyboard and mouse? 
Um, well, I haven't really played with keyboard and mouse for Rocky. Like, I've tried it, like, in training and stuff. But, like, on controller, I kind of just grew up because I used to play on Xbox. So I'm kind of just used to controller. But I don't really know, like, the real difference between a controller for Rocket League or a keyboard. So, yeah. Well, I feel like for a racing similar type of game like that one, I, I would assume Gamepad would be a little easier, mostly due to you're not, like, trying to do skill shots or anything. Yeah, you're just exactly. controlling a car. So, yeah. And there's a lot of, like, key bindings that my hand, I know for sure, will not be able to quickly reach. Yeah, yeah for sure. So there's also all all competitive games have rankings. Do you, what, What's your rank in uh, competitive? Uh, currently, my highest rank is Diamond 2 Division 3. And so, yeah, I'm pretty high up there, I would say. Okay, that one's different from what I've heard from other games. Why don't you break down how the ranking system works? Because I don't know that. Well, first, like, it go, it starts off, like, bronze is the worst. Or not the worst, but just not the best. The, the lowest tier. We'll be yeah, kind. Exactly, we'll be kind. Exactly. And then Grand Champ is, like, this, like the most skilled you can be or, like, the best rank there is. And then, yeah, I feel like that people... Well, I feel like the you can't really master the game because there's, like, so many... People come up with so many, like, new mechanics... And just, like, whatever. And I feel like, yeah. So I'm sitting kind of at, like, where I'm almost to, like, it's champion. And then you go champion one, champion two, champion three. And then grand champ. Or it's, like, bronze one, bronze two, bronze three. And then you go to silver one. So it's, like, you got to kind of go through the divisions before you can get to the next rank. So so you said you were diamond two, division three. Yeah. What is What is that breakdown, though? So you have, like, let's say, like, bronze one, bronze two, bronze three. But then in bronze one, there's division one, division two, and then division three, division four, then, like, silver, silver one. That's that's almost as confusing as, like, high school sports for me. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my state was weird. We had 4A was the highest. Then yeah. went 3A, 2A, 1A, 2B, 1B. I'm like, what's the point of B? Yeah. But people make up things. It makes sense I, yeah I, I don't know some sort do you know what the uh, ranks of your other guys are i know one of them's champ in twos but and then the other one is probably like diamond two division three like around my rank but yeah so yeah we're kind of around the same level so yeah have you uh done any like you've pro- i've seen you guys play together down yeah. there but have you ever done any like scrims with other schools tournaments that <coughs> So I've seen you guys play together downstairs. We're gonna just we're just gonna gloss over that one. Don't yeah, yeah. don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna edit that out. <laughs> um, so you guys play together uh, a uh, a lot, from what I've seen. Yeah. Do you actually like play scrims with other schools? Do tournaments that's been like on, or like what what have you done, or do you just get into like a quick match or competitive game and just roll with it? Uh, we've had let's see, two scrims in the past. We haven't done. It was like a best of five. We lost like both of them pretty bad. So we kind of just, yeah, now we're just trying to figure out like times. We're trying to figure out like practice times, like when all three of us could be down there and we can just practice like grinding through the ranks and just kind of getting better with like communication and rotation based on like how we play. And so, yeah. It's a lot about um, like the chemistry of between the players on your team. Yeah, exactly. I, I talked about it a lot with both the Overwatch team and the league team where – the league team was in a lucky position where all of them got along within their first match. Yeah. Um, and they've kind of, like, figured out their, like, team roles, not their, like, game roles, but team roles. Like, Johnny, the captain, is, like, he's the mood builder. He builds up the hype. But then you have Ryan who reels them in kind of yeah. a thing. So have yeah. you figured out where you guys are at, or is there um, really nothing like that? It's kind of like... I don't think there's really anything like that for Rocket League, but I can see like that for Overwatch and stuff. On a similar note, but different track, how are you meshing with them, uh, your teammates? Um, I feel like, yeah, we've like probably, we started playing, like I went down there probably like the third week I got here and I just started playing. And then uh, Lucas Fricky introduced me to him. He's like, you should meet these guys. I'm like, all right. So I went in, I met them, and then I, like, asked them, like, hey, what rank are you? They said, oh, we're Diamond 2. I'm like, oh, same. And so then we just kind of started playing, and then we tried out for the Rocket League team, and we all three made it. So, yeah, we just kind of went from there, I guess. 
kind of just like throw you at the the winds yeah, exactly. uh, keep get you going yeah um i've asked all the teams so far like i've asked you all of what i've asked all the teams so far again yeah. but this is a different one i know in fps or like fighting type of games where emotional state is a big deal yeah for uh, sure, for sure. we even have coined terms like being tilted yeah yeah so yeah. how do you keep your emotional state like are you good at keeping yourself motivated and like excited about playing or do you get tilted quite easily or are you good at in a way letting it fly Ooh, um i feel like sometimes like i'll get tilted but then like then i'll just i'll keep playing which probably isn't the best thing for me because then i start like playing bad if i'm just like i'll just play all aggressive because i'm mad and i'll just start losing games and i'll get more tilted but then yeah and then some days i'm just like i go into it just like thinking oh it'll be fine i'm just playing for fun and then yeah but then like during like my first scrim i just got like super tilted because I, like, I wasn't playing good, and I was just like, I want to play good because this is my first scrim. And that's the mindset you don't want to have. Exactly, exactly. It's th- as soon as you think, I should do good or we need to do good. Exactly. That was going through my head, and I was just, like, getting all mad at myself. I'm like, why didn't, why didn't I go, like, for this? Or why didn't I hit this or hit that the certain way? Or, like, what am I doing? And I'm just like, yeah. So is that only when you were doing the scrim? Or did you, do, you like, I think you said that you did, it like, you go into a day saying, I'm going to play for fun. I'm not going to think too hard. And yeah. then you have days where you try to win. I mean, like some days I'm just kind of like chill. I'm just kind of like playing just to play because I have like nothing else to do. And I just want to like waste time, I guess. But then sometimes I'll get like super into it. And then, yeah, basically it just kind of depends on like how I'm feeling or like kind of what my day has been like or like if I am going to go in. Some days I'll just go into it. But then other days, like, if I'm playing bad, I'll just get tilted, and then, yeah. I should have I should have told this to other people, but since it's just you and me, I'll tell you. All right. Um, I've gone in and learned in my own way that I'm – why Why am I getting angry? I'm, I'm playing games. This yeah. is supposed to be fun. Exactly. Like, at a certain point, you got to realize this is supposed to be entertainment, not, like, a chore or, yeah. like, work, which – it in in my way it's actually like slightly becoming an actual work but yeah. that's that's besides the point mm-hmm. but like i go in saying it's just a game if someone on my team does bad i won't just go out and call them out on it it's not yeah. worth it yeah mostly because i'm playing quick player casual so yeah, there's yeah. there's what do you expect yeah. and then if i do something bad i'll be like oh try it. let's try again yeah try do it better next time mm-hmm. so and the, the, what you said was they were like kind of your mood going into how do you try and balance it when you're in one mindset? Like given the casual mindset, you want to keep that casual mindset the entire way. But when you're tilted, yeah, how good are you at getting out of being tilted? Um, it pro- like sometimes if sometimes if I play a game and I'm just tilted right away, I'll just kind of get up and I'll leave and then I kind of won't come back. For maybe like a day or two and just kind of reset my mind. Oof. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a a lot more extreme than i was anticipating yeah but then there's other times where i'll get tilted then i'll just keep playing and keep playing and then i'll just get more tilted and then yeah it just ends up going downhill i i guess keeping your extreme leaving is probably better than getting down that horrible spiral that you're talking about yeah oof so how do you balance your rocket league practicing time and your just general casual playing time like i think earlier i saw you playing uh fortnite down there yeah my cousin like we've been we played all like all summer and like for like all the time he just he calls me like every morning during the summer he'd call me and ask me if i want to play and so some days when i'm just not feeling rocket league i'll probably just hop on some fortnite and just play with my friends and my cousins and just just have a good time i guess so why don't we just you don't have to give exact numbers, but like general range of how do you, how much time do you dedicate to getting better at Rocket League and then just casual playing? Ooh, let's see. I don't know like exact numbers, but like I feel like I spend more time, like I like kind of experimenting in like free play, which is like basically you can just drive around and hit the ball like wherever you want. I feel like that's a good way to like get better too, is just like going in there and just setting up the ball like the way you want it. And then, like, trying to make that shot or, like, just keep practicing that over and over. 
I feel like that's a good way. But then, yeah, I feel like I kind of just balance casual. It's just like kind of if I want to play ranked, I'll play ranked. But then if I feel like a little bit of tilt coming on, I'll just go back to like casual or something or go like play Fortnite with my friends. So you do it on like uh, your emotional state kind of a yeah, thing, yeah. which is probably a good one to do. Yeah. So Fortnite, huh? <laughs> yeah. Why Fortnite? Besides your cousin, though. Because uh, I, I, it just got super big, super fast. And I'm yeah. like, mm, I'm not into this, but that's just me. So yeah, Um. let's see. Why Fortnite? Well, I started playing like I saw like a trailer for it like on youtube and i'm like oh this is dope and i went in, like i went into school the next day and my friends were talking about it i'm like oh that's dope i'll try it so i just started playing and then my friend or my cousin got into it and then we started playing and then my i was telling like all my other friends about it too and then we all just started playing and then i don't know the thing that throws me off about fortnite in general and this is completely tangential to this entire conversation <laughs> yeah, yeah. but the the mode everyone thinks of when they think of Fortnite is the battle royale mode. Yeah. But the thing is, is that game didn't launch with battle royale at all. No, it didn't. No, no, it started as like a weird tower defense kind of game, and it was yeah. like in a similar concept as um, Plants vs Zombies. Yeah, yeah. It was similar to that, but it wasn't getting any like user base, and then yeah. they saw like, oh, battle royale is getting good. Let's throw that on, yeah. and then what like two weeks later it just exploded yeah which was it's it's mind-boggling how a game could get so much like attention yeah and then not only get so much attention but almost drop off within the same year because it's it still has a big user base but it's nowhere near where it like started at the beginning of this year i can see that yeah which it's mind boggling. Yeah. Whereas it, Rocket League is in a similar boat, in my opinion. Like, yeah, I played for the sure. game for like two weeks. Yeah. And that was only because friends were playing them. Yeah, yeah. And then I just kind of stopped. Yeah. But given my my enjoyment in games is, is usually if I can be like not thinking when I play a game, that's a good game. Yeah, yeah. So I play a lot of Minecraft. I play some Skyrim. <laughs> yep. Let me tell you. I can just not think when I play Skyrim. Exactly. So, and when I play multiplayer games by myself, my my emotional state before I started thinking like, wait, I'm playing games. Yeah. I've uh, I'd always get so angry and I start shouting, mostly because I'd get spawn camped. Yep. Uh, it's the worst. Yeah. Good thing Rocket League doesn't have that. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking of Call of Duty right now. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So, you got anything interesting coming up with you Rocket League guys anytime soon? Like any scrims, any um, tournaments or anything well, of that sort? we're just kind of like trying to figure everything out right now. First, like my, my main priority is trying to figure out like days we can go in, like go in and just practice for like a few hours. And then, yeah, we'll just, we're kind of just waiting for like our next scrim, but we haven't had a, like a, a whole practice time like set up. So, we're still trying to get that set up, but yeah got to keep consistency though so yeah. you don't want to go it's too hard in one practice session but then wait a few days for the next one yeah, so yeah. finding a balance there that's that's that is important yeah for sure i'm actually complete really curious because i have no idea for it like i have some idea for other games like yeah so for rocket league what does an esports match look like so it's basically like it's basically a private match with like it can be it's like a three on three private match but or with like subs too so like basically you just play like let's say like a best of five okay so it's it's the best of format yeah exactly whereas you have which league is the same boat yeah. usually um in their regular season they it's just the best of one but that doesn't matter but when they get yeah. into the heavier hitting swans then it's best of five best of seven yeah and then oh boy overwatch oh that's a no, whole nother beast yeah they they have, I saw their regular format was like best of five, I think in the regular season, but it's like first to four in their like playoffs, wow. and in those games you can draw, meaning you can go to like the eighth map, the ninth map, 
the tenth map. Jeez. It's like it's almost like baseball level where yeah. they, it technically could go forever. Yeah, yeah. So at least it's not that saddeningly yeah. stressful. Yeah. And then how long is a regular game? Uh, a regular game is five minutes, but then if like there's it's a, if if it's tied, it'll go into overtime, and then it's just a one goal wins it all. So there is no like overtime countdown. It's just uh, sudden death. Yeah, just okay. one goal, like you score one goal, overtime's done. So, yeah. Sounds yeah. like hockey. <laughs> yep. Oh, man, that's that's coming up on me, too. Yeah. Do you have anything school-wise that you have to do on that note? Like, I'm extracurriculars doing school, like uh, the hockey broadcast. Ooh, so see. that's my other thing I do with the yeah. school. Do you have anything that you do? Uh, Nothing right now, but... Yeah, I'm trying to find. I'm still trying to find like a work study job here on campus. Which one are you looking for? Like, Ooh. what kind of? Let's thing? see. Like, probably like a monitor job, for like the uh, sports and fitness center. I think there was one open, and then I don't know what it's called, but like a telecommunications person who like tells Ooh. people about Bethany. So I feel like those. I always see that one, and I always yeah. go like, I would not do well in that. <laughs> I don't really know what it's like, but I'm it's. Do you know what a call center looks like? Yeah, it's that. It's that's Ooh. what it looks like, just the warning yeah, on that it's, one. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I thank you for joining me. It's going to be a little shorter on this one, mostly due to I wasn't ready in a way for like talking points yeah. because this thing, the the scheduling conflicts. So, thank you for joining me. Yeah, no problem. And uh, I hope to see you again, and I yeah. hope to see them for the first time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, do you anything you want to say before signing off, or uh, just yeah, I guess just if you want to play Rocket League, just go for it. But <laughs> not, it's fine too. And yeah, yay Rocket League! Yeah, go that's, Rocket that's, League. That's what I'm finding. Yeah.